Thank you for uh, sparing time for us, Mr. Cararo. So, could you please uh, tell us about uh, the history of the family a little bit? I know that the first uh, uh, maybe machinery was done in 1910. It's a long time ago. Uh, so, uh, please. Yes, it's a long time ago. It was my grandfather to start this adventure. And uh, we continue all, all the life, all the family. They started in six brothers my father and the other one and uh, they have a success history. Uh, my father decided in 1960 to develop his own company as Antonio Carraro and uh, is an history of uh, development and uh, we are better and better every year so I'm very happy very proud to be part of the family. Do you remember your grandfather? Uh, did you get a chance to spend enough time with him? Sure, sure. My grandfather Giovanni was every day uh, in the factory and was make a, a tour. And when I was a baby, I was five years old or something like that, I, I went with him with a car to, 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 to make the tour of the factory or maybe in the exhibition uh, with him. So uh, really a clear uh, imagine of my grandfather. He uh, was a really strong man. Looking at 1960s, uh, the first production of uh, tractors, and then now we are looking at uh, the new era with uh, an electric tractor. So, uh, where we are right now, uh, how many different uh, products uh, does Antonio Carora have, and uh, do you think that uh, there will be even uh, a different uh, image uh, in maybe 10 years to come? Yes, but there is the history of the family. We always want to make a new tractor. Every day we think to a new tractor. Here you have 19 different models. They are all new in the different range of power. And so electric is the, the for the future. I think it's the future. But also for the other tractor, we have a lot of new emission uh, tractor from 25 to 100 horsepower. And so uh, is, the, is in the mentality of, of the factory and the, of my father, you know, every day he wants something new and uh, this is uh, our aim, uh, every day one new tractor. So uh, if we are looking at the strongest, uh, strongest sides of Antonio Carraro, what would you, uh, can you tell us a few, uh, a few uh, specialities that you could state as the strongest sides of Antonio Carraro brand? I think that you are strong because we are very clear in our mission. We want to make only compact tractor for specialized agriculture and we want to make every day a better tractor better and better and more my father likes the most beautiful tractor in the world so uh, we have a design and everybody in the back of a design and uh, about electric tractors where do you think uh, we will see electric tractors in 10 years do you think that we will uh, like electric cars it has been a long discussion around years in the automotive industry and it took uh, a while uh, to get to today how do you think we'll proceed with, uh, with tractors on this? But it's difficult to say. In this uh, size of a tractor, in the compact tractor, the only solution now is a hybrid tractor. But uh, we are trying also a full electric uh, model. And uh, we think that at the moment is the future. But uh, sure, we are also thinking to hydrogen and to a different uh, uh, propulsion of a tractor. And uh, one final question about Turkey. What do you think of the Turkish market? Uh, do you think that the Antonio Carraro brand is uh, well suitable to the Turkish market? And uh, do you think that you are uh, you have reached your potential? No, we have not reached the potential, sure. But uh, I like uh, uh, Turkish market. And uh, myself, really, I wanted to make uh, our own company. We have Antonio Carraro Nadolu in, in Istanbul. Uh, we have some people there. And okay, uh, actually it's not the best moment for Turkey, but uh, we make a good year also this year. And so uh, it means that uh, people like our product and more and more we will arrive to, to a very good situation. We have a little village where uh, they have uh, 700 people living there and they have 50 of our tractor. I was there, it was really a big party. No, no, uh, 
I don't remember the, the name of the, 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 this little village. Do you remember but, which city? No, no, I don't remember. Uh, the, do you remember the, the village where we were? That they were the band? It was a village specialized in uh, Napoleon Cherry's production. Planning to come uh, again to Turkey in the following uh, days? I, I like for us. I think that in the future will be a market import, as important as Italy. Actually, we make 40% of our production for Italy, and I think that in the future it's possible to make 40% for, for Turkish market because you have a very similar situation than in Italy. So, and our tractor are a thought for, for, for this situation. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. So uh, we were we finally found the name of the village uh, that uh, Mr. Carraro told it's Bayındır Kızıloba. So it was really interesting to see so many uh, Antonio Carraro tractors in uh, one small village. Uh, you were there uh, in the occasion. Why do you think that happened? That one customer was so happy and then it jumped to other families. Yes, actually, this is a very peculiar uh, history. This village. These all the farmers are specialized in uh, cherry, Napoleon cherry, so big cherry productions. And uh, it's a special village because uh, some years ago they didn't have uh, any uh, tractors to work with because of, uh, of the land and the difficulties to to, to drive uh, in, uh, on the land and in very, very critical and small uh, spaces. Uh, then our, our dealer in Selçuk, the company Carada, uh, introduced at first one tractor in the village. Then the result was an, an explosion of sales. And now I think they are running uh, between 13 and 50 uh, small tractors. The, the people are really enthusiastic because uh, they can do the job easily without problems. I think before they use uh, animals to, to make uh, collections, treatments and so on. Now with tractors everything is, uh, is possible and, sim and simple. To talk about the Turkish market, uh, how many years has it been since Antonio Carrara entered the Turkish market? So the story of uh, the presence of Carrara in the Turkish market uh, uh, be be began in um, in 2005. We started with an importer. Then, uh, in four years, uh, we decided to to have a direct uh, uh, presence because uh, the potential of the market was very high and we wanted to uh, to be there with our tractors and, and also to control directly the market so in 2009 we established our subsidiary in Istanbul is a it's a small structure we have four people working there but they do all the jobs, importing and distribute, distribute the tractors uh, uh, through our uh, dealers in Turkey. Uh, if we are looking at uh, the products you are selling in Turkey, which uh, models are you selling the most? So we are selling, um, at the beginning we started with 50, 60 horsepower, now uh, we sell up to 100 horsepower tractors, uh, depending on different areas, to the south in Adana region or or uh, Mersin, uh, Tarsus, uh, other areas of the south. Uh, we have uh, bigger engines. There are a lot of uh, citrus and. Uh, a lot of fruits, uh, orchards, and uh, 
There are other regions to the north, uh, Samsung, Black Sea region, we sell uh, for hazelnut, hazelnut uh, production, we sell 70 horsepower. Then uh, to the Aegean side, we sell every kind of tractor, starting from 25 horsepower up to 100 horsepower. So the models are different. People are crazy about our concept or reverse guide system. And uh, so because of this, uh, we, we sell a lot of front steering tractors with reverse guide system. We have with 50 horsepower, 70 horsepower, 90, 100 horsepower, so for every customers. Are there any uh, new products that you're going to introduce in the Turkish market in the uh, coming year? Yes, for the coming year uh, we are forced uh, as importers to introduce uh, stage 5 engines. So now in, uh, in Italy and Europe uh, stage 5 is uh, compulsory as uh, uh, engine emissions. So here at the exhibition we have uh, 19 tractors all in st with stage 5 engines. We will renew our product range completely in uh, Turkey with uh, stage 5 engines starting from 50, 66 horsepower up to 71 horsepower and more. And finally, uh, the hybrid concept, or uh, maybe even electric tractors, uh, that's a concept everybody is asking. Everybody is curious. With cars, we have proceeded a lot. And uh, now, uh, of course, in the agriculture world as well, that's a big question. Uh, do you think uh, that it's soon the concept will be real? And uh, do you think that uh, full electric is possible? So in our, in our business, that is uh, vineyards and orchards in difficult lands especially, we believe more in a hybrid concept. And uh, because of this, we have developed uh, together with, uh, uh, with a university in Italy, uh, the first uh, concept of, a, of uh, a tractor with um, electrical power and diesel engine. Uh, the system is a mild uh, hybrid system like uh, cars and uh, we believe in this uh, solution that is more um, suitable for, for orchards and uh, vineyards. So in the future this concept we, we developed and we hope soon to come uh, to the market with uh, a real uh, and potential uh, uh, tractor to be sold uh, uh, in the fields. And lastly, did you learn any Turkish? I've learned a little bit, so I know uh, <laughs> something for eat, uh, weather, um, I can count numbers, so I, I can talk a little bit, so um, for example uh, uh, about weather, I don't know, Hava uh, in Bologna, Bologna da Hava, çok güzel var, irmi, irmi derece. Çok teşekkür ediyoruz, thank you very much, grazie. Ve fuarı gezmeye devam ediyoruz Antonio Carrara'da böyle keyifli bir e, sohbetten hem şirketi hem markayı hem tarihi hem aileyi hem de e, Türkiye'mizde gelecekte görebileceğimiz ürünleri kısaca tanıdıktan sonra biz e, Bologna Eyma Fuarı'nı gezmeye devam ediyoruz.